Playing in Spain so far has been a different experience from what I've played before. I played in uh, I played as a sub for Mouse Sports in the EU Challenge Series last played. I don't play in Russia anymore, which was the, where I played uh, the last time I played in a league or whatever. And I see Spain as a good option instead of Russia. The Swedish uh, League of Legends scene is quite underdeveloped, so the Spanish scene, I think, has been around for a while and it's like a nice developed scene, so I think it's a nice choice for me. I play in Spain because I think uh, it's a really good setup for if you want to get experience for the competitive scene and if you want to go like higher or go pro then it's like you get uh, a lot of experience. I think the, the biggest difference is within the fans, like the fans are really passionate. You can see on Twitter for example like they're, they always cheer me on and the team and so on so it's nice. No communication is fine, uh, they all speak fluent English so yeah, it's fine. So oh, there is definitely a huge cultural difference between Spanish players or Southern European players and Northern European players. Uh, the stereotypical Spanish player is someone who thinks he's super, super good but might be mediocre. That's the typical one, but they are good Spanish players as well. I could say Spanish players are a bit more emotionally driven. Like shouting like, I think we should have done this or this or this and this is because why and I'm just, I'm just sitting there on the chair like, Calm down, calm down, you don't need to shout, calm down. So it's different, but it's it's interesting as well. I played on a couple of stages and it's super fun, but I think there will be more people in Gaming U than it was when I was last year in Russia. It was like 400, 500 people watching live, and, but I think there will be more at Gaming U and it's going to be super fun. I really look forward to go to Gaming U. I like meeting new people and playing on stage is really fun.